So uh, what's going on with Drake London? Uh, like a lot of our guys, I mean, a couple of nicks here and there, and we got different guys on different return to play plans. Nothing that we're really concerned about long term. We'll be smart. He's had a really good training camp, and like the rest of these guys, it, you know, some guys we held out today. Uh, we're hoping to get everybody back healthy, ready to roll, and ready for season rolls around. Do you, do you anticipate Drake being available at all this week? Or? Probably not. But again, it's nothing we're concerned about long term. Yeah, just he's a veteran, played a lot of snaps, and so we'll continue. To, and everybody's going to come out here, whether they're practicing fully or they're on the other field or they're inside. Everybody's working when everybody else is out here. And different guys in the career, just like we've done with Patterson at times, we've done it with Rush. Uh, we'll do it with Grady, too. When you look at that, when you watch the game back again. Grady was out here at the beginning of practice. No, at the I just make yeah, sure you got here on time. Just want to make sure you got here on time. Okay. Uh, I was here like I saw, 45 I minutes early because we have to worry about parking. But deal with Bassey, it's not my uh, jurisdiction. <laughs> when, when you went back and watched the tape, and how did you assess Desmond after you had the hindsight of being able to sit back and watch him? Yeah, um, I thought he did, I mean, from what we're asking him to do as a rookie, I thought, you know, he had some mistakes, um, but I thought overall, pretty pleased with what he did. Um, and again, he just like, he's got, I thought Marcus had a really solid outing. Both those guys, they continue to, we just got to continue to stack good days and to continue to make progress here. But there's some things that, you know, you can't see from the sideline that we may ask him operationally that he'll clean up. Um, but I got a lot of faith in both those guys. How much do you try to coach up your quarterbacks on the moment of decision, whether they're going to throw it or take off? I mean, is that something that guys just have instinctually or do they have markers that you, I mean, obviously. I'm not going to get into our off. schematic. Strat you know, scheme and strategy, Josh. I, I appreciate the question, but I'm not going to go in there what I t tell the quarterback or, you know, how we, we coach certain things like that. So, uh, but very happy with their decision making, I can tell you that. On Drake, do you, when something like that happens, do you have a moment where you just kind of, and it makes you change your plan for the preseason, or do you just have Look, to push through? Josh, like, are you scared when you wake up every morning and you're going to get in a car accident driving to work? Generally, no. You didn't know. Okay. We know it's a tough business, and, it, and it's an unfortunate part that the injuries happen in this game. But everybody steps out there, whether it's practice, I've seen guys get hurt in a walkthrough. When we stop having walkthroughs, you know, I mean, that's right. what you do. You rest because I mean, I understand the human nature just, of it. I just wonder if there's and, a moment where you go, Shh. No, you don't, if you, you're done if you sit there and live in your fears. And we try to be smart and you think things through and there's something that we think that maybe, you, should, you know, coach something a little bit different. Yeah, if, if that may cause something, but in the, in the, in the moment of a game, those things can happen in practice all the time. So I don't know what else to tell you. Yeah, I know, like I said, I've seen guys get hurt and walk through. Do you expect him back this preseason? We'll see. We'll assess it week to week, and we'll make the best decision. He's had a really good camp. He got his feet wet and uh, pleased with him. But like all our guys, the number one decision we make is to make sure that the health and safety of the player and how it affects him and the team. And that's where we start. So uh, we'll go up. We've got a great medical staff. Jake File and his crew do a good job. Dr. Kyle Hammond does a great job. And um, so we're pleased where we're at. And like I said, ultimately, guys are at different spots. We got to make sure we're ready to go regular season as well. Coach, what was your evaluation of the uh, starting offensive line? You guys were obviously able to run the ball pretty well, not just with the quarterbacks, but the running backs sure. too on that first draft. Yeah, like, like there's a lot of things, you know, little things we got to correct. Um, you know, I already made a lot of fanfare out of uh, cutting a guy loose, but that's. There's a little the games within the games. There's a call. He's expecting help, and you don't get it. And then you get focused one on one. And those are things people don't know about. Maybe it blows up on Rothstein's Instagram account or his burner account, and you know everybody's celebrating that. But that's that's a communication so issue, and not necessarily. That's what sometimes happens in slide protection too. Guys expecting help. He sets, thinking he's going to slide to the widest. Guy beats him inside. The guard's not there, and then everybody oohs and ahs. And those are the games within the games that you may not. That you want to add context to, no different than the uh, quarterbacks. There are certain things like I'm um, thinking of some things that live, you know, I, I try to find good comedy. We talk about predictions. I also talk about what I call lazy groupthink. All the draft gurus, they put narratives on guys. And I told Desmond to, to launch the ball out of bounds before the, for a coos kick for the half. So if you're marking that one on accuracy, that's on me. We had four drops, a couple decisions. Yeah, he's got to do a better job. but. Uh, maybe a route wasn't very good, and you got to try to place it because it wasn't a good route. So there's a lot of things that happened there, but overall, uh, pretty pleased. Quadri Allison, you know, 
seems like he's really uh, improved as a pass protector, especially. I noticed him in there on, on some third downs making some good pickups. What have you seen from him and just his growth, I guess, for the last two seasons? Well, I think all the backs are doing a good job. Algier, Huntley's gotten a light years better in protection. Um, but there's a great competition in there. Q's been down there. You know, he made some big plays within a year. And we'll, we'll have to change it up and make sure those guys get enough carries so we can get a true evaluation. Talk about having plans for guys. As it pertains to Kyle, not obviously the specifics of the plan, but is it a process where you think in year two we're going to give him X amount, in year three we're going to give him X amount, or is it is it a 10-year whole career plan for every guy you just keep adding to it? In regards to how much of the offense you give him, how much responsibility you give him. It depends what they can handle. Yeah, I mean, obviously you expect all these guys every year they're out here to continue to enhance their game. Um, very pleased with where Kyle's at. In a preseason game in one series, I thought Kyle made some really good blocks. And you get that kind of effort from him. Uh, you know, we didn't play 65 snaps, you know, with him in there. Or didn't, we didn't try to out scheme him or trick Detroit or whatever. But I, what I was very pleased with where Kyle's improved a lot, where I don't know if he'll get enough credit, is his blocking. Yeah. Along with the route running, he's, he's shown out here in camp. So I thought it was a really winning effort by him the other night.